Jesus is in the business of transforming lives. Here is a story of a lady called Pharisee. She says, I'm 38 years old. My husband and I had been struggling with addiction for four years. One day, one of my friends invited us to their house and their TV was set to your channel. It was a Christmas celebration special. Our hearts were touched by the joy that filled your programs. I love to be there among you to celebrate Christmas. My friend said, if you want, you can join in this celebration. Immediately, my husband and I said, yes, we want. And right there, we prayed the prayer of salvation. Since then, we have been watching your teaching programs, taking notes, and trying to live accordingly. By the help of the counselors at your channel, we joined Narcotics Anonymous Association, and it has been 31 months since we got free from addiction. After 16 years of being married and experiencing a lot of hardship because of my barrenness, the Lord granted us a wonderful gift by enabling me to be pregnant. The Lord gave me a baby boy, and I put the name of Iman, which means faith, on him. Because the foundation of my husband's life and my life was formed by faith. Today, whenever I look at my son, I'm reminded of my, my faith in my Lord Jesus Christ and how he saved us and how he set us free from addiction. Jesus is in the business of life transformation. Our job is to share the gospel. When the gospel goes into every home, when we send the signals over the heads of the mullahs into people's homes, Jesus saves lives and transforms lives. Did you know Iran has the fastest growing evangelical population in the world? Iranians have rejected Islam and are open to the message of the gospel. Did you know there are 20 million, I call them low-hanging fruits in Iran, the 20 million Muslims who have rejected Islam and are open to the message of the gospel? Let us join and continue this broadcast for another year. By the end of December, we need another 250000 in addition to our regular budget so we can sign the contract for broadcast for another year. Let's join together and deliver the gospel to Iran and the Middle East. The Lord is saving lives, is changing lives, is transforming lives if we do our part. I pray you will join in what God is doing in the Middle East. The blessing is yours. The blessing is mine. The work is His. Would you join us?